Welcome back, everybody, to another Vintage Cube. Here we are, still trying to milk the last few days while the cube is up to get as many as we can in here. So uh, here we are, cracking another pack, not opening power as is as is tradition, but that's all right. Uh, so we just did the Ember cool thing not too long ago, but there's just nothing else in this pack that I'm super excited about. Uh, Golos is okay, and like, what if it is a fetch, which makes it kind of an acceptable first pick? But I'm just gonna think I'm cool and see if we can get there on uh, some some nice combos with it. I think it's gonna be a bit better than basically anything else in this pack. It's just a pretty weak one, honestly. So, yeah, that's what we'll go with. All right, we could follow up with a second Eldrazi, but really Emrakul is the one you want. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do here is pick up a Coalition Relic, uh, just a good card that can go into basically any deck and you can be happy about. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, Emrakul has combos in a number of colors, so uh, we don't know exactly what direction we're going to go yet, and Coalition Relic just leaves us pretty open. I think it's the strongest card in the pack again. Uh, the chart, of course, is okay. Lanor Elves is okay. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it. Like, Grave Titan's a fine finisher, and you can sometimes reanimate it or whatever, but it's, it's not as good as Coalition Relic, let me tell you. All right, this is a little more interesting. Uh, a couple of things I like here. Uh, we've got Balance. Obviously, that can be powerful if you can get uh, some artifact mana going, maybe some planeswalkers to break the symmetry. Uh, we got Polluted Delta, which is always good having blue fetches. And then Spell Pierce actually like quite a bit. But I don't think it's quite as good as Balance or the Fetch here, so I'm more looking at one of those two. Uh, hmm. Delta's certainly the safer pick. And I think it's the one I'll make. It's it's maybe a little boring, but you know we took a spicy pick one here, so uh, let's let's go a little conservative uh, going forward here. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll probably just take Narset here, though. I am kind of looking at this high tide. We haven't had a storm deck yet this season. Uh, I would like to build one at some point, but I don't know if Emrakul Coalition Relic is quite the start you want to a storm deck. Uh, though high tide is one of the better cards in storm for sure. But Nars is just very good. Uh, it can help us find combos for Emrakul. Would have actually gone nicely with that balance too, but oh well. Uh, it's good with Polluted Delta as well, so I'm fine with it. Uh, yeah, so let's just take a Nars head here. Just kind of spreading my cards out here. So I usually kind of lay out a curve of uh, like proactive type plays and they'll have uh, just piles here of uh, reactive cards and then just like card draw type effects stuff like that it doesn't really affect the board in any way kind of kind of look at my curve that way I know there's a there's a lot of different layouts people use uh, and that, that's that's my particular one so this is it's not a bad start so far uh, I like coalition really quite a bit uh, I like narset We'll see if we can get there on the Emrakul. Uh, obviously, any draw sevens are nice now with Narset. And can you believe this card's uncommon? It's just so ridiculous. Anyway, all right. Taking a while to get our next pack here. But, ooh, all right, here we go. Uh, oof. Well, this is a bit of a drop in quality, I think, but. What can you do? There's still okay stuff here. There's some blue cards that I don't mind between Teeming Skydiver and Riftwing, which I think are both pretty reasonable. Uh, had we gone for High Tide, I'd probably pick like a Lotus Petal here and go hard on Storm, but it's not that's not the world we live in this time. Uh, I think I'll just take Riftwing. I don't know. Teeming Skydiver has been okay. I was really high on it initially, and now I'm like kind of back down a little bit. It's still a good card, don't get me wrong, but just I don't know it's a little expensive honestly for for what it does a lot of time uh let's see here probably just taking spire bluff here 
Uh, there's Heartbeat if we still wanted to try and live the Storm Dream. But I feel like we've passed that. Could take Woodfall Primus because it's good with a lot of the same effects that Emrakul's good with, but I don't think it's quite as important as picking up Piece of Red Fixing, which uh, is also good with a lot of the Emrakul type stuff. Uh, ooh, does this do anything for me? I think I'm probably taking one of these Artifact Destruction cards. It's that are like Valkyr Scarab God, but... I don't know that I want to be in black necessarily. Uh, I'll take an Ancient Grudge. It's fine playable here. Okay, I like Simic Signet. Uh, we're not necessarily green, but you know, half on color Signet this late in the pack is pretty worthwhile. Uh, Firebolt's pretty replaceable, and Tarantula Gearhog doesn't hit anything currently, so. Could take Sea Chrome Coast, but uh, I like having a little bit of acceleration. Okay, this could end up being a burning deck. We have Collision Relic Simic Signet so far. We're looking to already splash red. I don't mind that, and the rest of these cards don't impress me too much. Cosima, I've seen this do some good things, but it hasn't done anything good, good things for me so far. I'm just not too high on it. And this card's pretty bad most of the time. Uh, so yeah, let's take a burning. Seems good. Uh, this looks pretty poor. Take a Maze of Ith, it's a fine sideboard card. Uh, okay, so we can take more artifact type hate, or I can take a Daredevil. I think I'll take Daredevil since we already have the Grudge, and this, this card can do some cool stuff. Uh, this isn't likely to be a Welder deck, but I'm not playing these other cards, so sure. Alright, not playing any of this. Let's take the red card. So blue, as expected, is getting cut pretty hard, but uh, this looks like a pretty decent start to like a burning uh, type deck. Summer cool, still looking a bit out of place. We'll find some way for it to work, though. Hopefully, all we need to do is open like a, a sneak attack or a through the breach type effect, and all of a sudden it's great. I don't think this is a showdown of skulls deck. Ooh, all right. Well, I'll take a deck fade, and that card's just great. That's the kind of effect I like stealing artifacts with, uh, as opposed to the Skydiver, because it leaves you with a Dak Faden instead of a random 2 on. That's just, that's a, a bit better. Uh, there's a Through the Reach in this pack, which is obviously uh, the thing you're looking for with Emrakul, but Through the Breach might wheel, and uh, Dak is enough better that even if it doesn't, I'm still okay with that. Uh, and yeah, you know, it's a reasonably strong pack, so I wouldn't be surprised with this wheel. We got a couple of green accelerants, we got like Counterspell, Imperial Seal, Lodestone Golem's pretty good, Solemn's pretty good, and the Mishra's Workshop will probably get picked up. Yeah, I, I think I'm... I wouldn't say I'm confident in the wheel, but uh, I'm not... Mm, I, I have hope, let's say. Alright, I could take a second Wildfire, but again, I'm hoping it's a wheel, and our deck's not like incredible with it yet. We still need more mana artifacts be before this becomes great. So I'm looking more commit memory and miscalculation, and when in doubt, take the cheaper card is my mantra. So we'll be taking miscalculation here. Hoping to wheel a while of fire or commit to memory, but that seems unlikely. So I'll just take the miscalc. Ooh, all right. I like Glenn quite a bit. I like Ponder as well, but I think Glenn's going to be a little bit better. Uh, just a really powerful card. Stops a lot of nonsense. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Um, don't imagine Ponder will get a little Lotus Might. This isn't actually a very good card most of the time, uh, but it's like solid in a burning type deck, so I wouldn't mind playing it here. So, yeah, we could definitely use more fixing. We have one blue red land, and a fetch doesn't actually fetch anything. Uh, and then we need more artifact mana, I think, are the are the two big things right now. Uh, unfortunately, Selesnya Signet isn't quite what I'm looking for. I would like them to be at least half on color. So, I'm not too excited about that one. I could take the ready. There's a chance this ends up being good in our deck. Uh... Mostly there's not much else here. I could take like a Metamorphose or something. Trinket Mage doesn't find anything. Yeah, I'll take the ready. 
don't know if I'll play it, but ooh, okay, here we go. Steam Vent is great. I think it's better than Gruel Signet. If it was a is it Signet, it'd be closer, but with it being just half on color, I'm just gonna take the Steam Vents that makes our Delta into a dual land, and all of a sudden our mana is pretty good. All right, this is interesting. I'm probably just taking Sheldock. Seagate Stormcaller isn't really copying anything too exciting. Ancient Tomb's pretty good, but I think Sheldock's just a little bit better. We have Dak and Doretti to like dig us into it, into like being able to activate it. If we end up getting there on the Ember Cool, then that's like a really nice thing to put under a Sheldock as well. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Oh, is this finally a Mirari Conjecture deck? I haven't had uh, many of these. The card's powerful. It's just very slow. Preserve it. Let's see. I have two instants so far, and Burning of Zinni is not a particularly good one to uh, flashback, really. Yeah, this might still not be a Mirari Conjecture deck. So I think it's between Flame Slash and Walking Ballista. And again, Flame Slash is pretty replaceable. I'm just going to take Walking Ballista. It's it's a fine little card. Ooh, okay. Is there any way I can squeeze a channel into the deck? I do have an Emrakul. Uh, if not, I mean, Flarian Academy is not a bad consolation prize. It's not that insane yet, but it's pretty good. Uh, we have, like, a Signa and a Coalition Relic. I don't think we can get there on the channel, unfortunately. So I'll take Academy. It's like obviously still pretty great. Um, I could take Workshop as well if I really wanted to go deep, but we really don't have the artifacts for that. I could take Lodestone. Oh wait, no, the Through the Breach is here. Okay, we're gonna take the Through the Breach. I'm uh, I got got a little hyper focused on the artifacts there, but yeah, Through the Breach is obviously great. Okay, so now we have a way to get the Summer Cool into play, which is sort of relevant. Uh, we're definitely on the lookout for artifacts now with Larian Academy, especially cheap ones like Signets in particular. Uh, but yeah, the deck's, deck's starting to take shape. Uh, I think the ready might be worth playing at this point just for uh, just for filtering, but obviously would like to find like a nice big artifact uh, to go with it. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, at which point Welder might get in the deck too. That'd be sweet. So I don't think anything on the sideboard makes it. Okay, so we can take Vantage or a second Wildfire. Uh, I don't really see a ton of reason to take Vantage, so I'll take it the second Wildfire. It's Again, it's still not great in the deck, but it'll get there, I think. Uh, Pyromancer's fine. It's more ways to filter our cards down to what we need. Obviously not a very good combo with Wildfire, but that's okay. So yeah, really what I'm looking for now is just mana artifacts are the, the main thing. Uh, we could use a little more interaction, uh, a couple more counter spells or a burn spell or two would go a long way, I think. Uh, but overall we're doing okay, just need lots of mana artifacts to make these burnings good and the Tolarian Academy a little bit better. Second way to do something with the Emrakul would be cool as well, but... I think having the Through the Breach Armor cool is okay if we can find some uh, some good card selection. That would be another thing, I guess, is... Uh, well, I don't know, actually. Do we need card draw? Like, we have Narset, Dak, Doretti, Season Pyromancer. There's a lot of, like, card selection. It's not card draw, but... Uh, do I want to show and tell? There's matchups I could see bringing this in. Uh, none of this really does anything. Let's take the Mishra's. If our mana's good enough, I'll play it. Uh, sure, I'll take an idol on. Why not? Kind of getting to the dregs of the packs here. We're not like these senior playables. That's okay. Yeah, so we have like decent card selection with um, our three planeswalkers and our pyromancer. Still wouldn't mind like a card draw spell, but yeah, I think I think mana artifacts are going to be the main focus. I'm going to be taking those rather highly. Yeah. Just having double burning means I'm really, really interested in that. 
we do still need like if we after we burning we need to make sure we have like a planeswalker in play that's not just an R set um that can actually win the game because currently we don't have a great way to win the game post wildfire if our main combos through the breach armor are cool that you know it takes five mana it's not really going to do it and obviously none of our dorky creatures really do it either so but the idea is if we have enough mana in the form of artifacts we can play a burning and then play threats afterwards even if, at that point even if it is a seasoned pyromancer or whatever it can still get there so uh the grudge actually pretty good in the burning decks as well like you uh you want to make sure you de destroy opposing mana artifacts when you're trying to do that whole thing okay lots of good choices here um inferno titans a nice one uh, we got a braid as a nice piece of interaction. Hester might we could take speculatively. We could get there on twin in this deck as well. And fire ice is another solid piece of interaction. Hmm. I don't really want to pick another six drop right now. I think I'm going to take either fire ice or a braid. I just I'm not sure which one's better, but I think for the reason I stated that a braid, the fact that it can destroy an artifact and we're trying to do burning type stuff is a little bit better than the extra mode and ice. Um, but they're both good. Yeah, I think it's correct. Okay, well, I could have an Armageddon in addition to all my other stuff, but that does not seem as good as either impulse or force of negation. Force of negation has one, two, three, four, five. Pitchable cards, probably not enough, so we'll take the impulse. Uh, still looking for those artifacts, though. But impulse is a nice piece of card selection to try and assemble our combos. Okay, factor fiction, another solid one, though. I might have to take power stone here. Spell seeker doesn't really get anything too relevant, so I'm not interested in that one. Yeah, it's definitely between Factor Fiction and Power Stone. I think I just need the ramp a little bit more. Like I said, we have a lot of card selection already, uh, and I just need to make sure I have some to do post Wildfire. So, uh, Factor Fiction is the better card, I think. But this is this is our pick. Ooh, okay. This is interesting. Wow, this is a good pack, actually. Jace is great. Karn is great. Uh, Tinker's great, and then we could try to wheel Citadel if we pick up the Tinker. It's not likely anybody picks this up if we grab Tinker, so we could have Tinker Citadel. Is that good in this deck, though? I don't even know. Am I just take Karn? Jace... Jace doesn't have, like, amazing flashback targets. It's mostly just a looter. I think I'm gonna take Karn, um... Yeah, I don't know. This Tinker thing is tempting, but I don't even know if this deck is that good with Citadel, honestly. So let's just take Karn. Uh, all right, we're going to take Everflowing Chalice over other Karn and Phantasmal Image. Again, just need mana artifacts. And this is another solid one. All right. Uh, I can take Chandra here. It's between that and Looter. I think I like Chandra though. Again, I just want lots of planeswalkers so that I can burning and have something in the in, in play that can win the game for me. So we'll take Chandra. Uh Basalt Monolith isn't exactly a combo with the burning, since you can only use it once. Nahiri's pretty good, but we don't really have a way to splash white at the moment. I passed up on the white fixing earlier. Uh, I might just take Pyroclasm. This deck, or this card, uh, definitely powerful, again, in a lot of matchups. I think I'll do that. Uh, it's a fully off-color Signet. It's a Mind Slaver and a Blightsteel. Not really into the fully off-color Signet, I don't think. I'm going to take the Blightsteel. If the Tinker wheels, then if we have Tinker and Through the Breach, I, like, might play it. Okay, the Pester might wield, but we know there's no Twin Pieces coming, so uh, no reason to do that. So this is between Inferno and, like, Worm Coil Engine, I guess. Mm, I generally like Inferno Titan better than Worm Coil. Neither of them seem incredible in the deck, but yeah, well, Inferno's fine. Uh, take a random ritual. If we need to get faster, I guess it's okay. 
This is exactly 23. I don't know if it's the perfect 23, but that's okay. Uh, and love command if I can get in the deck. We have a polluted delta and no other way to play black, really. I mean, I'm not going to play Omnath, so sure, let's take it. Probably not going to splash for just call against command, but I don't know. Maybe if there's a late uh, duel that I'm not remembering or something, I might play it. Card's pretty good. Yeah, I would have liked one or two more uh, two mana accelerants. We have a lot of decent four drops that we would like to be getting out there. Storetti is a little suspect. We can't really use the minus two to any good effect. So it's pretty much just a looting machine for four mana. It's a little expensive. Uh, I'll take some infinite gyros. Might play that over Doretti. Uh, gives us another thing to combo through a breach. Okay, flame tongues, a fine sideboard card. So make have a last pick, Pelucranos. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Have an extra combo here. Yeah, so it's 28 with five lands. I think this makes sense to me. Uh, I don't want to play the Blight Steel. Like, through the Breach Blight Steel just isn't that good of a combo because they have anything with two or more toughness, they survive, and then you've accomplished literally nothing with two cards, so it's not very good. Uh, Pyroclasm, I think, is going to be great as a sideboard. I don't think I want to main deck it. Same thing with FDK. So, yeah, I think it's going to be the deck. Let's see. We have double blue, double red here. Double red here again. Lots of double reds, actually. So I guess the red heavy... Uh, red heavy here is pretty decent. Uh, as far as our lands go, we have three dual lands, and then this is just straight blue. This is just straight blue. So this would give us seven, eight, nine, ten blue, and ten, or, sorry, yeah, ten blue, ten red. So I could maybe even go down an island, though. Talarian Academy is not, like, the most reliable source of mana. I actually have to consider whether I even want to play Talarian, as I'm thinking about it. We have one, two, three, four. Four artifacts. Dak Faden sometimes counts, and Walking Ballista sometimes counts. Hmm. It's not incredible, huh? Yeah, I actually think I cut Academy. There's just too much of a risk of it not doing anything. I may bring in Mistress Factory. Uh, our mana's pretty good, and I, so I don't mind having a colorless land that can do something. Uh, and then if we play five sevens, then that gives us ten nine. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four, nine, seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense, I think. Unfortunate to cut Academy, but we just didn't quite get there on all the artifacts. I think the wildfires are still worth it because uh Power Stone and Relic are both so good with them, generating multiple mana. Plus we have a number of planeswalkers now that like if we can do this and the only thing left in play is our planeswalker then we're in pretty good shape. So I think it's still worth playing those two, but uh, I'm going to cut the Academy. All right. Uh, well, I'll see you for round number one. All right. Here we go. Tsar of Bacon. I love that name. Uh, all right. Let's play first. Oof. That's going to be a mulligan for me. This just doesn't do anything. All right. This one's mega slow, but at least accomplishes something, so I guess I'll keep it and just hope to draw acceleration here. Open on Spire Bluff. Pass. I mean, big chance we lose here. Uh, just if we don't draw any acceleration, our first place turn four, and that's not really good enough, but I don't think going to five makes it better, so... Well, we're playing against a slower control deck, there's a chance. So... Island and cube doesn't necessarily mean that. They could be any of a number of things, so. If we draw enough lands and number cool, I guess it's pretty good. Alright, sure we have a brainstorm. The end of turn brainstorm is a good sign, I think. 
Night's Whisper, okay, yeah, they're doing stuff and we're not. Okay, pedal. All right, all right, that's something. Would have been nice to draw to turn earlier, but I guess here we go. Decide which Planeswalker to get to play first. I'm thinking Karn. But it sort of depends on what they play. If they play something that Chandra can kill, that would be one thing. Well, if they're just going to sit, that's a little bit scary. Um, Let's see. So now they could quite likely have a counter spell. Which Planeswalker is better to get countered? Probably the Chandra doesn't look like the Minus is going to do a whole lot for me, so... Let's lead on Chandra then, if they have much of open mana. Yep, mana drain, of course. Yep, all right, well, now we're just dead. Cool. Yeah, this didn't exactly develop, but... How do we draw an Everflowing Chalice on two? Then all of a sudden we're playing a Karn on, four, on three instead of doing nothing, and... Things get a lot better, but I mean, sometimes you mulligan and, uh, you know, you don't quite get there, so. I assume we're going to lose here with them having four extra mana, but let's see what happens. Yeah, there's some kind of storm deck. Oh, boy. Let them go off, see what they're doing, but, or mega dead. I can't concede in the spot for one, they might fizzle out, right? It's possible they're like gonna do, play a draw seven or something and not get there. Just brain freezing with three copies on themselves, okay. And then they're gonna like Yogwell or something. Wait, we have an Ember Cool in our deck, so their plan is to brain freeze out. It's not gonna work very well. We'll see if they have another way to finish the game or not. Another good reason not to concede. Sometimes they try to brain freeze you, and uh, you have an Ember Cool randomly. But it's possible they have a Tendrils finish. Uh, they're just like playing the brain freeze for a little bit of value here. Hmm, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna turn off auto yield so they like don't see our whole deck, but I guess that isn't really a thing. Yep. They might be looking for like an or or uh, what's that card called? Oracle, right? The the one that you and if your library is empty, maybe they're gonna brain freeze themselves and play that or something. We'll see, we'll see, but uh, the Ember Cool certainly giving us a nice out against Brain Freeze here. They have a Tolarian, they have a Bolus' Citadel. Sure. They're kind of just down to one mana now. Oh, right. Burrell makes it cheaper, sure. Okay, well, we should be fine here. I mean, we could get incredibly unlucky, but most of the time this doesn't work. All right, we even have two, uh, two different Eldrazi. <laughs> okay. Still have a pretty big hand of cards, unfortunately, but... Still isn't bad, I think. Uh, let's play Karn. I'm just gonna plus it. There doesn't look like they can really threaten it here. Ancient Grudge and Wildfire, huh? Okay. Well, uh, I have an Ancient Grudge. That's not bad. 
I might just take the wildfire next turn and play it here. We'll see. Certainly seems pretty good against the Brawl and Four Lands. Okay. I guess you have a horn. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's just a play, right? This thing's in exile with a silver counter or whatever. I can also just destroy the horn here. Hold on, one, two, three, four, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I don't have enough mana to do both, but I'm pretty sure wildfire is just better, so we'll do that. Uh, yeah. Cast wildfire. They have a force of will or something, that's gonna be a problem, but it doesn't seem like it. Uh one, two. I guess I'll sacrifice all my mountains since I have an extra one in hand. Just cutting the uh storm deck off of mana here seems pretty good. Like it's possible they get a bunch of rituals or something off of this, but okay, that's fine. Uh, at this point, I might just start making some constructs. Do need to win the game at some point, but I think step one is we ancient grudge this horn. Got a frantic surge, doesn't do anything. Are they just trying to deck themselves? I'm curious here. Are they looking for an answer? Hard to say. I kept one card in hand. Okay. Um, did I play land this turn? I did, right? Yeah, I did. Let's just make a construct right now. It's not that big, but I'll get to play Worn Power Stone next turn, power it up a little bit, start attacking them. We get an impulse here. It's just a matter of whether they can f actually find anything relevant or not. All right, managed to get there. I might actually bring an Eidolon of the Great Revels, funnily enough. Uh, it's just pretty powerful against Storm. Uh, the ready looks like it might be okay. I guess I have to decide if I'd rather be faster or slower, because like, they can't pressure the ready, which is nice. The ready looks okay if they're going to have uh, Bolissa Citadel and the Horn. Uh, those are pretty decent answers to that. Daredevil, yeah, they have like cantrips and stuff. I can flash back. That's pretty solid. Narset's obviously insane. Cloud skates maybe a little bit slow. Walking ballista actually looks pretty bad. Nothing really to hit with it. Um, so I'll cut that for idle hun. Try to pressure them a little bit. I think I. Don't worry about the Doretti. I think I'm just going to try to be faster rather than slower here. Obviously, Idol on Wildfire, not exactly a combo, but they both save, serve the same purpose of slowing the opponent down, which is important. Okay. 
Okay, this looks like an excellent start. Feed on the mountain. Player Signet, and then, depending on the situation, play one of our planeswalkers. Didn't lead on a blue land either, which means we're uh, not likely to run into mana drain, which is nice. Alright, it's a lot of mountains. It's okay, though. They just hold up mana drain mana here. I think I still have to just do something. Unfortunately, just giving the storm deck a million turns to resolve stuff isn't really where you want to be. So even though this is extremely dangerous, I don't think I can wait multiple turns to like hold up miscalc. It's just not going to be worth it. So we'll lead on Chandra again. They counter it. Only well, counter it. All right, they didn't counter it. That's cool. So we get to, I guess, just do this. It's fine. Okay. Would have liked Narsad, but that's fine. I need this open when I when I close the zone. Oh, they're going for it already. All right, it's scary. Oh, they're just getting a horn out. Oh, they're gonna be really sad when I steal that. All right, let's go mountain. Let's see, I can just Chandra for two mana, which would give me five, six, seven. So I could resolve both planeswalkers here. That's pretty good. Let's start with deck. Uh, keeping up Miscalc. Steal their horn. Sure. All right. And they're not happy about that one. Oh, our opponent ran some bad luck. Uh, Eldrazi against Brain Freeze and then Dak Faden against the Horn here. Uh, pretty pretty unfortunate for them. Glad to be on the good side of the RNG there. I'll see you for match number two. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. It's not the most exciting, but it has a Signet into Chandra, has an Ancient Grudge, which will apparently do something, although, oof, that's a strong start. Okay, well, let's go Mountain first. I'll have to see whether it's worth it to grudge that or not. Uh, it's always a yield. It's like, I'd like to get the Signet in play. Sort of depends on what their play this turn is. I may just hold up Miscalc and then have Grudge Miscalc. They have a carry edge, sure. The Spire Bluff. Yeah. I think it's right to just do this, even though it slows the Chandra down. Um, this could be pretty important here. Having miscalculation up against like a five drop or whatever. Like, do I even care that much about Questing Beast? <clears throat> Chandra can just kill it. I'll take 8 damage from it. So, this turn I'll grudge their mocks. I right, take 4, I grudge their mocks. Next turn I play Signet, I have Miscalculation up. And then the following turn I Chandra the Beast. I think that's honestly fine. Lamog, all right. Play Signet. Hold up miscalculation. Okay, Cradle's not amazing for me, but it looks like I get to counter this. It's not even like 
that insane of a counter, but I'd rather do it than not here. It stops them pressuring Chandra on the following turn, which is good. Okay, factory's fine. I guess I'll play it. Uh, play Chandra. I right, managed to slow our opponent down a little bit here. The Sylvan Library is going to be tough, of course, and they still have a lot of mana here. Okay, Nissa. Uh, have they played a land yet this turn? Okay, they have, so I have a little bit of time to deal with the Nissa. Ooh, Pyromancer is nice. Uh, I am forced to discard cards with this, right? So. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't really want to discard the Ulamog. It could end up being good here. So I probably just play Pyromancer, discard two lands. Although I should just do this first, I guess. I don't need the mana, so let's see if we hit anything here. Ooh, Inferno Titan. Oh, I needed to play a land first, because this is an instant. Like, you have to cast it now. Oof. Oof. That hurts. That would have been a good one. Oh well, um, yeah, let's just go Seasoned here. Well, hold on. I'd like to keep up Mistress Factory, which means I have to keep a land back. So I can't actually do that. Alright, that's fine. Uh, one, two, three. Discard two lands. Throw Chalice and a Ballista, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just play Chalice, okay. Oof, then Inferno Titan hit. I mean, I was playing Discard the Lands, so like it kind of makes sense, but I don't know. I also have the two Wildfires in the deck. I probably was supposed to uh, play the land first. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana right now for next turn. So I mean, I can make a big walking ballista, something at least. It lets me uh, kill this Nissa off before it becomes a planeswalker, which is kind of nice. So Grudge looks like it may be coming out. They obviously have the mocks, but it doesn't look like they have too many other artifacts. Mono green decks usually aren't too artifact heavy. Not sure how we're stopping on their upkeep here. Okay, there we go. I mean, the Ballista plus Chandra also threaten their life total kind of nicely here, too. It's possible we can just burn them out. Hmm. Well, this doesn't look good. Green Suns for four. I can't get their Questing Beast, which is actually a good thing. Let's see what they got here. Can't think of too many four drops I'm that scared of. Lots of fives and, and higher, obviously, but what four drop is like that good here? 
I'm just trying to give them green four drops. They're going to get like a Pelucranos. It doesn't do much. We got an Oracle of Moldaya, and then they have a Woodfall Primus on top. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they do have seven lands. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I messed that up. So now they get to grab the Primus here. Yeah. It's pretty good. So now they have a Woodfall Primus. Okay. I really wish I could dismiss this thing, but it just doesn't seem to be dismissible. I guess I'll just make it tiny. All right, no attack. Beasts within the Chandra. It's pretty good. Let's see what we draw here. Oh, I drew through the breach. That's not bad. How much time do I have? One, two, three, four, five, just six. So I can't do that in Ballista to any reasonable extent here. It's like four permanents. I mean, it's pretty good. So I can attack. I'll attack them with Ulamog, right? Since they're forced to block that. So they have to keep one blocker back just to survive. And then I'll attack Nissa probably with the other two. So then they can sacrifice Nissa if they want, but that means they don't have Nissa anymore. So they would sacrifice what? Nissa, Library, and like two lands. Uh, chump block with. Carry it did. That leaves them with one, two, three, four, five, six men. I mean, it's still a lot, but I think it's pretty good to do it this way. No, they're done. Okay. I don't think it was quite over, but fair enough. Of course, Magic Online quality program. They're drawing post game and showing their library. Oh boy. All right. I feel like we're already pretty good against Mono Green with double wildfire here, but uh, let's see what else we can do. Pyroclasm looks excellent. Uh, Flame Tongue looks like it might be good. Uh, especially if they have Questing Beast that deals with Questing Beast pretty nicely. So I think I'll bring both of those in. Uh, Daredevil doesn't look good. And there's one other thing. I mean, yeah, Ancient Grudge I don't think looks particularly good. I think the rest of it's okay. All right, we'll run that. I'll see you in the game. All right, here we are for game two. And this looks pretty fine. We get to play a Shell Dog. We get to suspend a Rift Wing or play a Chalice. All reasonable. Okay, they have their Mox again. That's unfortunate. Hey, hey, hey. Opponent with some good starts. Burning's pretty good, though. I know I always yielded to that. Well, I'll put a Pyroclasm there instead of a basic land. So I think. We'll see what I draw, but I'll probably suspend Riftwing and then try to play a Chalice for two. Because it looks like Burning is going to be pretty important here. Well, they do have stuff like... Uh, well, not stuff like... They have exactly Slime, which is annoying. But... Uh, I think it's still fine. So this is suspend three, right? So... Next turn, I do nothing. Next turn, I play the Chalice. This would come in on the turn I'm burning, which is maybe a little bit awkward. But I think it's still worth doing. Obviously, the burning plan could not work, and then having a Riftwing out there might be helpful. We're getting Slime Bolt here. Primal Command. Eh, it's basically the same thing. I imagine we lose from here. They're going to get a 6 drop or 7 drop and just kill us. Mox a good card. Tireless Tracker? Oh, okay. That's pretty good, but... Let's yield to that one. Um, 
Well, I guess now I'll do a chalice for one. The tireless tracker is not that scary. Maybe they just already have something good in their hand. Scavenging goes. That bothers me even less. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'm playing a shell dock. And put a Karn under it, sure. Maybe that was a bad idea, actually, because I'm... Well, I can leave it after burning. I can leave just Sheldock alive. Obviously, there's a lot of things we're dead to here. We might just be dead to random attacks, actually. Haven't done the math here. We're taking 7 and 7. So we're not quite just dead to attacks, but we're not in good shape. If they have anything, I guess, we're dead. Okay. Oh, wait, we get Riftwing this turn, so we get to uh, bounce something and then... Make a block, which is nice. So probably just bounce tracker. Um, so I would like to cast it. Make them replay that. Threaten to trade with the ooze. All that good stuff. If we draw nothing, I'll just play tap steam vents. Ooh, Chandra's interesting. Two, three, four, five. Um, obviously I'd like a Chandra in play when I go to burning. Can I actually keep the Chandra alive is the issue. I guess now that I bounce that, I probably can, right? So I go Chandra minus on like scavenging ooze. And they just have a random 2-2 sitting around. Seems good. I could even plus it, honestly. Like, what are they going to do if I just plus one it? Attack it? Yeah. I mean, they could have like a questing beast or something and just kill it, but I think this is still fine. Okay, I won't be playing that one. Obviously, a lot depends on what they do this turn, but I'm feeling pretty good about this game. If they don't have a great play this following turn, uh, we're likely to win. Sure, you can gain three life. That doesn't matter too much. Like, if they're just replaying Tracker or whatever, it's fine. Well, this doesn't look like Tracker. This looks like something a lot worse than Tracker. Oh, no. Woodfall Primus? Okay, that's bad. Because that's going to kill Chandra. Hmm. Makes this Wildfire not as good. Especially since I'm at 9 here. Uh, okay. I guess I have to get an Inferno Titan into play now. Problem is trading with the Primus doesn't really accomplish much. One, two, three, four, five. Man, that's unfortunate. Um... So I play Titan, kill like Scavenging Goose. They still have amazing attacks. I mean, they can attack me with this and put me down to one. Unless I trade, in which case I lose a land, in which case I can't burning. Yeah.
Don't know how I'm getting out of this, but we'll figure it out at some point here. Uh, let's go two and one. Just need it to be a little bit faster. I think if they don't have a mox this game, we probably win it because they're a turn slower. Oh yeah, yeah, This Karn's not really doing a whole lot. Maybe if we can get into play. So, man. So if I trade here, this becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, you just can't kill a 5-5, five, five, so I have to take it here. I guess I'm just hoping until I get December cool going. We have a tracker, that's fine. Draw a mountain, that doesn't really help. Ah, so I get burning. Kills everything except Primus and Titan. Then I have to trade away the Titan, and I'll have one, two, three, four, five. I'll have two lands in play. And a chalice, so what could I draw for three mana that would do anything? Or actually two, because they get to uh kill one of my lands at that point. I don't think there's anything I can draw for two that does anything, right? No, not really. Um Is there an alternative play? No, we're just dead here. That prime has got me pretty good. I needed them to not play anything that turn. That was that could survive a burning. All right. Well, I'm just gonna run it back. Still don't think I'm an ancient grudge. Just have to hope that uh, we're off to a good start, or they don't draw their mocks for once. That would be nice. Definitely a close game that one. I will play first. Okay, this is fine. Obviously, we don't have double red for these cards, but hopefully we'll get there. Of course, they have their mocks on turn one. That makes sense. Wow. I think this is their turn one every single time. <laughs> All right, with an impulse, I'll go signet here. I can go signet. Or, uh, rifting suspend plus impulse next turn, something like that. It's a questing beast, yeah. Uh, a little frustrating just have a signet played against you on turn one every single time, but what can you do? Um, Spiromancer doesn't really accomplish a lot, so yeah, I think I'll suspend this and then play an impulse. This uh, shore. The goose, okay. Miscalculation, ever flowing chalice. One, two, three, four. Um, which of these things do I want? Could just take the land to guarantee the Inferno Titan. Could take the Miscalc and go like Pyromancer, hold up Miscalc. But Pyromancer doesn't deal with Questing Beast very well, so I don't want to have to discard Inferno Titan here. I think Chalice is the best upside, but this isn't good. Yeah. Draw more lands, all right. Ah, 
Uh, so I'm taking six next turn, going to six. I think I have to still do this. Like, obviously, there's a lot of ways this all this goes wrong, but we'll just assume we can resolve Inferno Titan next turn. It cleans up some of the small stuff, trades with Beast, and then we like draw some extra cards off seasoned. Obviously, if they have their giant uh, thing here, then we're super dead, but. Opponent has some pretty insane draws this this match, I'll say that. Ugh, slime. Okay, slime's bad, but I can at least still resolve Inferno Titan, and like it still kind of does the thing it needs to do. So it's not that bad. I think I just kill Slime Ball here. So I don't have to block it. I guess I'll deal them one. Because I might not want to block Questing Beast quite yet. I might draw an answer to it, and then that would be a nice... It would be nice to keep Inferno Titan around. We get our uh, Riftwing as well next turn. It's the Primus. His opponent. Oh my gosh, man. What is this nonsense? Finale for five? Okay. Oh, Finale can't get stuff from the graveyard. That still doesn't matter that much. Like, it's obviously not good, but... All right. Uh, well, let's flip this in. Cast... Not a hundred percent sure what I want to bounce here. Bouncing questing beast doesn't accomplish a whole lot since it has haste, but what am I looking to draw? If I don't draw uh, wildfire immediately off the top, I'm going to use pyromancer to dig for something, which I can get a three drop with it. Uh, which of my three or two drops do anything here? Pretty much none of them. Okay, cool. Here's Bounce of Land then. Okay, Drew an Island. That doesn't help, so I guess I'll play it. Uh, play Seasoned. Okay, Narset's all right. So yeah, now we have blocks for everything. It's just wildfire gets a lot worse now because I won't have a board anymore. Yeah. All right. Forced to make some trades here. Obviously, I have to make the blocks here. I 
If I draw land, I'll probably wildfire because then I'm still just one away from casting Karn and cuts off a lot of their mana. Someone two. I don't know about if I draw an Ulamog. Let's uh, minus here. Ooh, Coalition Relic's a nice one. All right. So I probably want to get that resolved first. One, two, three. And then I can also Karn with it. That seems good. Some braid and deck faden, I think so. Okay, they gave me a braid. <clears throat> Pass the turn. And so yeah, let's look. Yeah, I have deck faden in my exile zone. I mean, their questing beast and their finale that can get it back are both gone, so I'm not super likely to die out of nowhere here at two life even. Are you kidding me? Oh. Wow, that's frustrating. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess we'd lose. Man, I thought we were out the other side here. I don't know. Maybe I should have just gone for the wildfire, but it didn't seem right. That's frustrating. Bun had a really good deck and really good draws. I mean, it's going to happen. Uh, All right. I'll see you for the final one. All right, welcome back for the final match here. This hand looks fine. A lot short on lands, but we got an impulse to find some. If that's what ends up needing to happen. Uh, we'll see what they do. I might suspect Rift, suspend Riftwing, though. If it, we don't draw land, I'll probably go hold up Miscalc and have impulse as an option here. Ooh, and I can just grudge that. I think that's tempting enough that I'll just do that. Hopefully we draw land here. Young Pyromancer, huh? Okay. Hmm. Lots of options, but none of them great. So I could Walking Ballist to kill the Pyromancer. I could play an Impulse, look for a land, just to make a land drop this turn. I could just pass with Miscalc and then Impulse. If it doesn't do anything, I could suspend Riftwing. Uh... Half tempted to deal with the Pyromancer while I have the opportunity to do so, but we also have a Wildfire to clean it up later. I think I'm just going to pass with Miscalc here. Obviously, missing a land drop's not good, but it's still okay. If they do nothing, we have the impulse to do something with, at least. All right, we'll take a mountain here. Any order is fine. Draw Mishra's. Okay. Guess I can play that one first. We'll hold up Miscalc. Guess we're just playing the passing game. That's fine. Maybe I should look for a blue so I can suspend Riftwing and also have a miscalc going, but that's fine. I'll just keep passing. Feels like we're both sitting on a counter spell, and now I have this Mistress Factory to block with, even. Okay, they're finally doing something. Raisin Borrower, just flash it in. It's a little bit awkward. I think I let it resolve. 
I still have Ballista that I can potentially pick stuff off with here. It's fine. Okay, Island's good. Uh, so I can go Island, Suspend Cloudscape. I'll suspend it off of this just in case they have a wasteland or something. And then if we draw one more land, I can try to go for Ballista plus Miscalc, which would be pretty strong here. Okay, they're finally going for something. Yeah, we're going to Miscalc that one 100%. Now I get to resolve Ballista and be in pretty good shape, so this is fine. I mean, I guess they're still up cards, but not that worried about it. Or if we draw land, I guess we can even resolve an Inferno Titan, it's even better. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they could have exactly days and that would make this play bad, but in all other cases, it's pretty great, so... Obviously, they have force of any, like a force of will, then they can just force either of them. But looks like they don't, so we get to just kill their board and have a 6 6 in play. Seems pretty good to me. See what they do. I might follow up with a wildfire, although if they have mana up, I kind of want don't wanna let them like hit it with a burn spell or something. That would be kind of awkward. Um I'm definitely attacking. That much is happening. Delete three, okay, okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll pump once and then just play a big ballista, I think. If they counter the ballista, it's kind of whatever. They're already dying to what's on board here. This is like mana drain and something ridiculous, but. Yeah, just counter spells fine. I mean, they're just dead to this Titan now, so. Dig, all right. I don't know what Dig's gonna find them for one red mana, but let's find out. All right, cool, managed to win that one. So it looks like we're playing against blue red control, maybe a bit of a tempo deck. Pyroclasm actually looked okay there. It would would have killed their creatures. It cleans up the tokens nicely. Don't know about Flame Tongue as much, but I'll, I'll put in the Pyroclasm. Um, what am I cutting is the question. I'm not seeing anything that looks bad. Yeah, everything's kind of great here. Guess we didn't see that many artifacts. Maybe I could cut the grudge. See what they have. Let's give it a shot. It's pretty decent that game, but uh, they just had the one signet, so. Okay, this looks fine. 
We got a way to clean up their creatures. We got their devil to potentially steal a cantrip or something. Miscalc to interact early and a Chandra. All good stuff. And of course, our shell dog here. Hoping to find an Emrakul under it. Yikes. I've not had great shell dogs, this, this uh, cube. All right, now there's Signet. It's unfortunate. So we're looking to miscalc their play at some point here and then play a Chandra. We'll probably end up sitting here for a while because I don't want to run Chandra into a counter spell. It's my only piece of action, and they don't want to run anything into my counter spells either, I imagine. Let's play Signet, that part's fine. They want to counter this, I really don't care. Pester might me? Hmm. Sure. Oh, maybe I was supposed to float that mana and uh, play Pyroclasm there, actually. Yeah, that would have been better. Because now if they have an extra land on Twin, I just lose. Yeah, that wasn't great. Oh, well. Looks like they don't just have twins. That part's good. Let's see if they have a follow up here. Nope. Oh, there's the Emrakul. Wrong place to show up, Emrakul. Wrong place. I think I'm just going to try to Pyroclasm here. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Mana Drain. Oh, that's unfortunate, but alright. Played wrong. Eh, man, I'm playing poorly this, this match. I should have kept the Mountain so I could just play Chandra afterwards. That would have been so much better. Now we're just dead to Twin again. Yeah. I guess we'll cycle this, look for a Burn Spell. Played this match very, more this, this game very poorly. Nope. All right. Okay, so they're playing a twin deck. Does that change anything? No, nothing in the sideboard is particularly good against twin. Just have to run it back and hope for the best here. I would like to play first. Uh, it's just close, but it's not quite there. I'm going to mulligan this one. We just can't risk not drawing a land on turn two, I don't think. All right, this one's fine. Put back a land here. And we'll go get our... Duel here. List is interesting, but we'll suspend Cloudskate for now. And I'm probably running this into a counter spell. If they have it, then, well, I'll be sad. They have a lot of good counters, unfortunately. Ooh, okay, they don't have double blue. That goes a long way. They could just brazen borrower it as well, and that's still bad, but... 
Can't just not play my spells because they could have answers. We can resolve a Ballista, that's a pretty good answer to uh, a lot of stuff here. Okay, Imperial Recruiter's fine. Yeah, but this is a really good answer to the twin combo. Mm, cool is less good, but that's fine. Just play a big ballista here. Wait, this is only... Oh, right, right, that's only two. Yeah, all right, three, boom. Obviously, I could just have, like, bounce effects or whatever, but it, it's an extra step they have to go through, which is nice. They're attacking? What? That's such a bizarre play. They can't have Ninja. I'm just going to take it. They could have like a Shock or something like a Firebolt or whatever for my Ballista. So this is fine. I'll just take my one. All right. Clever. Oh, they had two lands off of it. So that's fine. And they already played their land as well. Sure. Is Earthwing already coming in? Oh, nice. Okay. Well, let's bounce their mountain. Oh, Miscalc's a really good draw here. Um, so I want to give up Miscalc and Impulse. One, two. I can do that off that. Yeah, all right. So I might as well attack with Mistress Factory here. Some okay pressure here. I'll stack an extra counter on this if they don't do anything. Thieving Skydiver X equals one. Yeah, I think I'm going to be letting that one happen. All right, and they're done. Excellent. Okay, managed to beat Twin there. Uh, lost lost to the pretty strong mono green deck that had Mox in every opening hand. Uh, but, you know, pretty good pretty good draft overall. Um, our Emrakul didn't get there, I don't think, we ever put into play. We played Nulamog once. That was cool. Um, but yeah, did, did some cool stuff. Uh, had a pretty pretty sweet deck. And, yeah, didn't quite get there on the trophy, but I, I think we were favored in that matchup. I mean, Mono Green generally doesn't do great against Wildfire-type decks, but didn't quite get there. Uh, nevertheless, I enjoyed that. I hope you did as well, and I'll see you for the next one.